How's it going? I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to go over the three trades I took on SPY. All of them happened to be winners, um, but it wasn't as big of a day as it probably should have been. I didn't trade as well as I should have, uh, but we came out on top. We'll get into those in just a second, however. We're looking at the daily time frame here on SPY. You can see we opened up right around uh, the 52-week high. We actually set a new 52-week high, um, had a massive sell-off, and then kind of rallied back in the end of the day. So we're sitting on this massive hammer candle. Oddly similar to the last time we got up, up around this area, we had an initial rejection the next day, big hammer candle, uh, and then we kind of gapped down and had this few day sell off. No clue if that happens again. Um, obviously, having this wick come down and get pushed all the way back up, generally you'd see that there's some buyers, uh, but it has happened before. So I'm not gonna say it can't happen again. Few levels I was watching were that 52 week high around 477.55. We have 476.62, um, 476 essentially, 475.4 ish, we'll call it. Um, you know, 474, 473. Those were the ones that came into play. Right off the bat, we opened uh, at the 52 week high and right above yesterday's high a day. Kind of had some initial volatility, not really determining. Uh, I guess this was a bit more obvious, um, but this candle here, small candle body, really long bottom wick, um, held that level. Looked like we might be bullish for the morning. Um, this quickly reversed that sentiment, as that's a pretty uh, typical reversal. Then we have a massive sell off, no trades in here. Um, was kind of waiting for a direction to form and then look for like a break and a retest or retest of a, of a previous high or previous low, whichever way we trended. On this right here, I did take some calls. So this is my first trade of the day. We came down, we held this on pretty high volume on the five minute form that hammer candle on this level that I was watching. Felt like we might get a decent bounce, especially after that initial reaction. Um, took calls down here, uh, scalped one on this push up, um, and then my next was cut at the break of the low day. So. We can also look at the two minute here. That hammer uh, we formed on the two minute also uh, looked very similar on the five minute. Once we formed that handle hammer on the two minute on increasing volume here, you can see uh, I got in on one of these, I think it was this candle, uh, waited for two to close and hold that level. I got in here, um, I took one off somewhere in here. Um, once we started kind of bouncing around in this area, I trimmed one and I should have set my runner to break even. I wanted to give it a little bit of room, um, especially because we had come down and held this level right here uh, on another you know, rising volume here. So I thought that it was potential we might still get a bigger bounce. Um, so I, I held on past break even and set my, my stop on my runner to the low a day, uh, in which case we did break that pretty quick once we did break. And uh, I took a loss on that one contract. So the gain that I had on the scalp uh, was almost offset by that loss. So that's why it wasn't the greatest trade. Um, it was counter the, to the trend. We were obviously uh, pretty bearish. And yeah, you know, I should have taken it for what it was, just a quick scalp, taking both contracts at you know whatever 15% or whatever I had uh, and, and been happy with it. I was hoping for a retest of this level for puts, uh, but we didn't quite get there. That's where I was going to uh, trim or take profit on my runner and uh, look to enter position and puts on a lower high, but uh, we didn't quite get that. Um, that was my first trade. I think my profit was like $2 or something on that uh, because I did take that loss when I, when I set my stop below that low a day. With that being said, we came down, um, found support at this level. Um, 474 came up uh, and we're slowing down I guess we had some momentum off that bounce uh, but volume started slowing down um, we we're making you know making our way down I guess now it kind of looks a bit more like a bull flag um, but I entered puts here for my second trade of the day um, this would have stopped me out and the only reason it did not stop me out and I'm going to zoom out to the one hour chart is we did have a trend line uh, on the hourly from the previous couple days. Um, 
in which we broke. And I should have been more patient. I think I had some FOMO after seeing the move that we had today. Um, and I was expecting us to just keep dropping bit probably silly of me to think that. Um, but what kept me in this trade, even though we did push up a bit, is that retest of that broken trend line. Um, so I was watching the two minute once we retested and rejected, I stayed in this uh, and I took one contract off here um, near this this bottom. Really solid gain. Uh, actually, this contract moved really nice. I took 475 puts. Once we broke down and had that momentum or that volatility, those contracts to the premiums moved pretty nice. I should have set, I should have either, I was targeting low a day um, and there's a few things. One, my entry was bad. Had I got in right here, this wouldn't have happened. But what happened is my entry was here. It was a pretty bad entry. Um, I took profit off this. Once we came up here, uh, I should have stopped out at least at break even if I was going to you know, manage my risk that way. Um, but this this move up stopped me out for, for a loss as well. Um, and I kind of, I sold because I saw my contract moving against me pretty quick. Uh, and I, I just wanted to, to cut that and take the profit that I had. That being said, uh, this quick reversal kind of reduced my premium quite a bit considering I entered in here. Uh, I took a loss on my, on my runner here. So decent win on the first, my runner was stopped out for a loss. So that only netted me a few dollars as well. Uh, once again, kind of the same thing I was doing here. Um, just set the stop to break even, just reduce all risk once I secure profits. Uh, or, you know, had I gotten a better entry here, um, this wouldn't have stopped me out at all, and I would have hit my my target of uh, that level down there at 474. Third trade of the day was puts in here, um, and this was the best trade of the day. Took puts in here. Sold when we hit this level, it was around a 50% gain. I only took one contract, uh, so I sized down for the best trade of the day. Unfortunately, that would have uh, been a pretty big winner. Um, why did I do so? We were sitting at the low of day. We were looking pretty weak on the two minute and the five minute holding below this level. We kept retesting and failing to close above it on the two minute. Um, on the five minute, we had these long upper wicks and we were kind of making our way down. We already had our bounce, our retest, and a sell off. Um, so things continued to look pretty bearish. I didn't think that we'd get some violent reaction out of this area and bounce again, um, since that kind of that buying liquidity had already happened. So, uh, I thought that we might fall through to the next level, uh, and we did. And so that was the best trade that I took all day. Um, it worked out no real drawdown, uh, just a single contract. So just cut it when we hit 473, um, 473 puts on this. I just took a single contract at 474. So a quick dollar move. Yeah, I moved about 50%. So that was a nice one. Those are my three trades. Uh, the bulk of the win was on this. This could have been a big trade had I had I waited and entered the retest of that trend line. Uh, that could have been executed much better. This is just a quick scalp uh, that could have been, you know, a nice 15% had I traded it correctly. Uh, so overall, uh, you know, idea was there somewhere in here. Uh, the idea to, to watch for that retest and not cut my loss until proven. Um, yeah, not the greatest day trading, but but we came away with the win. And especially after yesterday, I think I needed it. That's all I got for you. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. I do trade live every Monday through Friday. So if you feel so inclined, stop by, say what's up. That means I'll be here tomorrow and the week off, hopefully on a good note. Uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.